Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video of mine, and today, we're going to be checking on my mental health. So let's get into it. Now, last video I talked about how I was doing this whole 50-50 challenge where I upload 50 videos in 50 days, but one thing I didn't consider when I started this would be the workload. Now, I know I'm just posting some videos on YouTube, some of them, like a lot of them actually, are not even that long, but I just, I want everyone to know just how long it takes to make these videos. No matter how short it is, it always takes me a few hours to make them, whether it's the thought process, the editing, or shooting the actual video itself. Every video has heart behind it, or at least a thought process behind it. Some of them, yeah, I could have done better on, but I've just been wondering out. Am I stressing myself too much? Am I on the verge of becoming burnt out? Because that's something I definitely don't want. And that's why today I'm going to be reacting to a video from the channel psych to go I totally go I totally go subscribe to them. It's they're a great channel. They do a lot of great stuff. Uh, their videos are very nice. Uh, so today we're going to be reacting to a video called Six Signs You're Burnt Out, Not Lazy. Uh, I'm using this less as a guideline to see if I am already burnt out, but I want to see, like, I want to see these videos so that I can see, like, the signs of being burnt out, so that if it eventually does happen, I know how to treat it, or I know, like, the this the signs of it, because being burnt out is not a good thing at all. Please, if you're burnt, if you feel like you're burnt out, go get some help. Please, that's just my advice. Don't keep that to yourself. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be a slightly more mature tone than um, a lot of my other videos. So. Uh, Consider liking, subscribing, maybe commenting with your per what your personal uh, what is it called experiences with burnout. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm sorry for the big clunky headphones, by the way. Like these are the only ones that reach. So let's start in three, two, one. Hey, Psych2Goers! Welcome back to another brand new video. Why does it seem like you spend most of your time in bed, lying down and not doing much lately? All right, I, I sit down on a chair. I don't, I don't sit down on my bed anymore. For, when I actually had to do online school, uh, I sat in my bed a lot of the time during classes. Also, can I just say, like before anything else, I always love the the drawings in this. It's always so pretty to look at. Look at it. So it's so relaxing. So they're doing a great job with this. Lee. Are you someone who easily gets tired and doesn't feel like doing anything? Do you label this kind of behavior as mere laziness and nothing more? There's actually a lot of overlap between laziness and burnout that can make it difficult to differentiate between the two. Burnout is a negative state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by ex Alright, I just want to say here, uh, a negative state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion. I wouldn't say I have emotional exhaustion, uh, I, I really wouldn't say that. Physical exhaustion, uh, if I'm being honest, like, I haven't been working out as lately as I should have been. Mental exhaustion, I think that's probably like, the biggest factor here. Uh, but I don't I don't think any of these are serious. Like, I don't have serious emotional, physical, mental exhaustion, but I, I do think it's there. Uh, just one second. Excessive stress and inability to cope with it. And as of 2010, a survey reported that approximately 75% of adults in the United States alone have experienced symptoms of burnout. That's not good. With over 40% of cases being more severe. Oh, yeah. Now, more than ever, it's become imperative to educate and better understand the nature of burnout. So with that said, here are six telltale signs that what you're experiencing right now isn't actually laziness, but burnout. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes and is based on personal opinion. This video is not a substitute for personal and professional advice, but for general guidance. We advise you to always listen to your intuition. We always can always do what is right for you. Yeah, that's important. That's always important. Like it's it's almost never YouTube videos are never a substitute for real world doctors and medicine. Alright, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now alright. Music's very common, I like that. Her voice Number is one, actually you very, very disconnected common. from everything. Are you going through the motions of every day as if on autopilot? Is there a persistent feeling of being detached from your own self? 
If you're suffering from burnout, one of the things you might be experiencing but don't quite realize or understand is depersonalization. People experiencing depersonalization, most commonly those struggling with trauma, report feeling a strange sort of emotional numbness or emptiness, as if they were watching life from outside of themselves. They don't feel like themselves anymore. They don't feel engaged by anything and they constantly struggle with the overwhelming sense of helplessness and inability to take back control of their lives. All right, just talking on that one, I have felt before that like I've just been on autopilot, like I don't really want to do anything, but I haven't felt like, oh, I'm just seeing my life through another person's eyes. Uh, what was what, what was the other thing she said? Um, Oh, the struggle of like, like not being able to do anything. I don't feel like I have that, but then again, it. A lot of these are like subliminal. You won't notice them right away, but I don't feel like that affects me too much. That, um, like I feel a little bit of it, but honestly, I, I don't think that's a major problem for me. So let's go on to the second one. Number two, you used to be motivated. Uh, Laziness is a character trait, and character traits tend to remain stable over time. A lazy person does never feel like exerting effort or applying themselves to things. But if you used to be self-motivated and high achieving, often excelling in certain areas, and have only recently become exhausted, apathetic, and unmotivated, then it's more likely that you're suffering from burnout and not laziness like most people would think. Alright, talking on that one, I do feel like I have experienced that before. I've definitely experienced that before, there's no question about it. Uh, going back to while I was talking about online school, uh, the, it, I'm not to brag or anything, but I'm mostly an A student. Like I, I mostly get A's. Like sometimes I get a B here and there. But like for the last few months of online school, I know we're in summer break right now, but um, I feel like I was just phoning it in that whole time. Like honestly, I wasn't motivated or anything. I was just mostly uh, stressed. That and bored that those were mainly the key components for me because like regular school I never had that problem I, I always got myself engaged I always did the work like, like well I always did do the work but uh, I was always motivated to do the work I, I was always motivated like oh tomorrow is gonna be much better than today but for online school and to a lesser extent uh, making these videos I just grew less and less excited every day um, that's not to say that I'm like I'm not happy that I have to make that, that I have to make these videos. Like, there's certainly enjoy enjoyment for me. Like, once you see your video out on YouTube and you see the likes, you see the comments, you see the views, it's it's all great. But, but just starting it is probably the hardest part. Thinking of an idea is what takes me the longest time every day. Uh, and sometimes it really does take a toll on your mental health. So I feel like that is a, that is a huge that was a huge problem for me. Is in school mostly, but also, the, like, again, to a lesser extent, making these videos. Number three. Number three. You used to be passionate. A clear difference between someone who's burnt out and someone who's lazy is that the former used to have things they were passionate about, but may now be struggling to find interest or enjoyment in anymore. Whether it's a talent, a sport, or just your academic or professional performance in general, burnout can make it hard for you to do the things you once loved or felt passionate about. You might even come to hate or resent it because of how much you overworked yourself and pushed yourself to the brink because of it. Ouch. Alright, uh, talking about- it's, that's just bringing up a lot of the same points, like, you do so much of this thing that, that, uh, like, you're not very comfortable with. Again, going back to the idea of school, like, I wasn't very comfortable with the idea of online school. Like, yeah, it was a less of a workload, but it was just so uncomfortable. Um, the, and to the videos, like, Almost, like for the past few days, I've been stressing myself out, uh, just thinking of an idea to do for a video. Because uh, on the one hand, I can make two vi videos that are just boring, and, like that are long and boring. But on the other hand, I can make videos that are short and a lot more edity. But my number one fear is that people just don't think I put effort into these videos, and they and they find them boring. That that is something I really I really really hate. But uh, yeah, that just brings up a lot of the same points I already said, so let's move on to number four. Number four, you've become moody and irritable. Do you suddenly find yourself snappy and easily irritated? 
Do you often feel emotionally out of control nowadays and don't know why? Moodiness and irritability are common but often overlooked signs of burnout. So if you start to have trouble controlling your emotions, especially when it never used to be a problem for you, this might be the reason why. Lazy people, on the other hand, are a stark contrast to this because they're often very relaxed, laid back, placid, and unaffected by things. All right. Um, with that, like in my personal every day to day life, I have found that I got like a little bit more angry just by little things. Like I, I, I don't want to do something I don't want to do. Like of course I'm gonna be a little angry about it. But the past few, like actually not not just the past few this past while actually the past few months, I just found myself like getting angry and upset a little bit more. Uh, I, I always do try and control it, but most of the time, like, I do, I do feel like I can control it, but, uh, there, are, I do find myself getting angry a, a lot more, like, I got a lot more stressed out, e a lot easier, so, yeah, I do feel like that's something for me, uh, I do, that, it, that's actually been something I've been dealing with my whole life, uh, where I've just, um, I've just been stressed out by other people and their mistakes, and I don't really feel like it's my fault. But I always have to be stressed whenever they do something, which I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. But uh, yeah, so let's move on to number five. Number five, you've neglected your self-care. One of the most distressing warning signs that someone may be emotionally and physically burnt out is if you start neglecting your self-care and socially withdraw from others. There are concerning changes in your eating and or sleeping patterns. You stop making an effort to groom yourself or look good, and you tend to spend most of your time by yourself doing nothing because you're so easily exhausted by even the simplest of tasks. The difference between being burnt out and laziness are starkly in the fact that you weren't always this way. All right, um, going on to that, where it so said you were, what was it? You stop, uh, I already said like, I'm not, I'm not exercising as much as like I did like the past month. Uh, you saw those workout videos. Like, yeah, I did well on those, but in the time since then, I just keep finding myself uh, making excuses for just not doing it. I, I can't tell if that's laziness or burnt and yeah, burnt out because I don't like exercise. I really don't. But I can't tell if it really has anything to do with this. Uh, my sleep patterns, it's summer vacation. Me and my family were going to sleep uh, a lot later than we should. Uh, the, one sec. Are you kidding me? All right, we're back. Um, all right, I'm still talking about the thing. Uh, grooming, I don't usually do my hair that often. Like, I, I think I always look good. Uh, my hair is probably one of my favorite features. Uh, so I don't think that's a huge issue for me. I, I don't know what the other one was. Uh, but eas being easily exhausted, I don't, I don't think that's a problem for me. Like, if someone needs you, if someone needs me, to do something like I just do it without question, and I, and then I just go back to whatever I was doing. I don't usually find it to be a big problem. So let's move on to number six. And number six, these changes happened gradually. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, something you should know about burnout is that it develops in stages. So all the points mentioned before, losing interest and motivation, especially in things we used to love, feeling detached from yourself and disconnected from everything around you socially withdrawing and neglecting your self-care won't just happen overnight. Studies show that there are actually five major right. stages of burnout, each with increasing degrees of severity. The honeymoon phase, the onset of stress, chronic stress, burnout, oh, and no. habitual burnout. Many people begin to experience symptoms as early as the second phase, when there is still a moderate amount of stress, but optimism, interest, motivation, and performance may already start declining. And by the time you reach the fifth and final stage, burnout has already become so embedded in your life that the persistent mental and physical fatigue become more intense and harder to treat, making you more vulnerable to developing depression and anxiety. Spotting the signs of burnout early makes it all the more easier for you to get help and recover from it. That's why it's so important to raise awareness about burnout instead of simply dismissing it as laziness, like most people tend to do. So if you or anyone you know may be suffering from mental or emotional burnout, please don't hesitate to reach out to a mental health care professional today and talk to them about it. That's a very, very smart uh, words. Overall, the, with these signs, I don't think I'm in burnout. Like, the, like she talked about stages. Like, the second stage, you get a moderate amount of stress with 
uh, optimism, interest, motivation, and performance already going down. I feel like that was me in online school. Uh, like, it was just a little bit, like, it was stressful for me, but I didn't think it was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die stress. But, uh, yeah, I do feel like my optimism, my interest in school, motivation, my performance, I think, uh, did go down. I got a lot more Bs than I should have, like, than I usually do, actually. But, uh, yeah, that's not a good thing. But, uh, hey, this is just me. I could be overreacting to this. Uh, I'm sure my family are going to be very happy to see this video. Um, but overall, yeah, but I don't think I have severe burnout. I think I'm only in, like, I, I still think I'm only in, like, the second stage. But that's the thing. I gotta find myself, like, I gotta find a way to make make myself optimistic again. Be happy. But, uh, I don't think, I'm not sure if that's the right advice to give, but I shouldn't give any advice. Like, I'm not a healthcare professional or anything. But if you are experiencing signs, don't be afraid to reach out to a medical professional, someone you love, just someone you trust. But, uh, hey, until next time, thanks for being with me. Thanks for sticking with me. And until tomorrow, goodbye.